inevitable. This video is brought to you by Extreme Tees. Click on the link below. Make sure you put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get a 20% discount. What's going on, America? Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And in light of all of the crap that's going on in America right now, it has taught me to have such appreciation for Thanos off of Avengers. Man. That dude was on to something where he said, I am inevitable. Sometime I wish I could do the Thanos snap. And I ain't talking about for humanity. I'm talking about for stupidity. That's what I want to do the Thanos snap for. I don't want to make humanity disappear. I want to make stupidity disappear. Because bottom line, these people who are brainwashed so much to where they can't recognize that the the worst coup ever took place in the United States this last election, they're foolish. They don't realize what they are exchanging, see, because the media got them focusing on things that are totally irrelevant, things that are not priorities, things that are not major issues in the United States. While overlooking all of the things they're exchanging, their peace of mind, you know, they're exchanging to have, you know, be not burdened by Trump's tweets. Um, They're exchanging so they don't feel like we got a white nationalist running the White House. They're exchanging all of these things for these stupid narratives. So with that being said, I need the Thanos snap to get rid of stupidity and probably slide in the whole Democrat Party as well. I mean, we have been war free for four years. War free. They're not focusing on that though, because all they keep hearing every day in the media is racism, sexism, xenophobia, all of that stuff. We have had war free time. We have what else? We have had an economy boom, economic boom. All of these things will get reversed under Joe. Not only will they get reversed, we don't even know who would be running the whole country with Joe. So all of your 401ks would be gone. I mean, you think the stock market got confidence in this? You think they're going to sit back and wait to hear Joe's uh, economic strategy and plan? They already know what it is. So you're looking at 401ks gone. You're looking at um, all of your, your stock. You need to sell it. Sell it. If you got it, sell it. Get rid of it. All of these things. You're looking at stronger and safer borders, but you're going to exchange that for peace of mind knowing that Trump's not in office, right? You're exchanging millions and billions of dollars going into the black community because of Trump's policies and committed another 500 billion for the next four years. You're exchanging all of that for what? You're exchanging all of these wonderful programs, policies, and all of his accomplishments for God, it has none, none, because y'all are stupid. I ain't going to even sugarcoat it anymore. I need that glove. I need to get rid of the stupidity, okay? You're exchanging all of that. Where's ISIS? Anybody seen those guys lately? Okay, yeah, yeah. When was the last terrorist attack on the United States? I don't, I mean, I'm not saying it can't happen, but right now, we're feeling pretty confident. You think creepy, sleepy, sloppy, slimy, sleazy Joe, who really don't know where he's at at any given moment, is going to be up on top of that. You think that he's going to instill fear into all of our enemies to where they respect you healthy. You know, there's a healthy respect, not fear that you're going to do something, but knowing that you would, if you have to, that's a healthy respect. So you're going to exchange that peace of mind. The only thing that has been unpeaceful these last four years is false narratives, driving people crazy and manipulating them. Other than that, we were living in a time of peace and prosperity, and yet they created a false image in the heads of all of these folks who think that America was chaotic, divided, racist, all of these false narratives, when if these folks wouldn't have stuck their knuckles 
in the 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 minds of all these bubble heads, we would all be saying, this is great. We're finally making money. We're holding other countries accountable. We got great trade deals going. You got these HBCs. Um, they got money funding all the way out for 10 years. You got money going into the black community. You got businesses and companies coming back into the United States. We finally got a president that sticks up for the country, wants us to prosper, looks out for America first, and y'all want to exchange him for a guy who wants to look out for his global interests first. All of these other countries. You want a guy who's going to be beheld to all of these powerful, rich billionaires and, and, and trillionaires and all of these other globalists. You want that guy. You want that guy because they bluffed all of y'all, tricked y'all, manipulated y'all into not being able to see the blessings that were raining down upon the country under Trump because he wasn't in with that clique. And now you want to stick a dude that's been in that clique for 47 years back into office and watch what happens. You want it? You got it. I can sympathize now with Thanos. I understand why he snapped. I'm telling you right now, if I didn't love people, I would say just snap and get rid of all the liberals, the idiots and stuff. But I'll be OK with just the leaders of the Democrat Party and the media gone. I would love it. Just go, go, because they have been the single worst thing for our country. Now, we don't know how this is all going to work out. A lot of stuff floating around there. And of course, you know, the media is doing their best to you know cover up stuff, hide any types of obvious corruptions and paint the narrative that Trump just can't take a loss. So one person in particular would definitely earn his spot in the, uh, Sano, uh, uh, in the Thanos snap, and that is Jim Acosta. This idiot in the press conference after Trump comes out, gives an announcement, um, as Trump's leaving, you hear Jim Acosta, uh, uh, the, 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 Mr. President, are you being a sore loser? It's stuff like that. That gets him a first round seat. I mean, he's right up in the front of the Thanos snap. Okay. Are you being a sore loser? First of all, he hasn't lost yet. Secondly, if Joe Biden was to gotten trampled in this whole thing, those same bootleg, you know, uh, reporters would be saying, did you cheat, Mr. President? Why can't Joe Biden contest it? Why can't Joe Biden see transparency? All of that. So apparently Jim Acosta, doesn't see some of these discrepancies. He doesn't know why one would want to question some things. You want Trump thus in return speaking against us, all of us to just lay down and roll over with all of these obvious suspicious activities. You don't think we have a reason to question that, Jim? You think we're being petty? You think we're just being sore losers? No, no. See, we're not snowflakes. We're wise. We're wise enough to see corruption and wise enough to say, we need to look into this. Okay. Snowflakes, flakes, the liberals, they don't need that stuff. They just need conspiracy theories. They need mind controlled narratives coming from you guys, but that doesn't fly with us. So to try to make it appear that the only reason Trump is concerned and upset and want some transparency, only reason he's doing that is because he's a sore loser. That makes Jim Acosta a bigger fool than he already is. And I'm talking, he's a big one. They need a full float for Jim. Big old blown up dog of Jim. Okay. That's how much of a big old fool it, that dude is. He's right now, he's ranked number one when it comes down to being a fool. Now you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. I'm going on a search for all of those infinity stones. If you know where they're at, let me know. Put the I take one for y'all. I take one for the team. I seen what it did to Tony Starks, but I don't care. I think it's worth it. Thank on it because you know what? I am MAGA. Just want to say thanks for checking out the video. Please check out KC Uncensored, my personal site, where you'll get uncensored material from me along with some archives. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. The link is below this video. If you click on it and put Kevin in the promo code, you'll get a 20% discount. And finally, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And if you would like to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, there's links below this video to do that as well. Okay, God bless you and God bless America. Take care.